looking into orbit now. do for you you the courier I've been expecting you star parcel has your payment right here anything else you need sure how about it
This right here is my catnip. Orbit reach. Bullshit. 
You didn't think we'd notice that you tried to slip away without paying your check? I was just going out for some fresh air. I, I even told the bartender. You can ask her yourself. Fresh air, huh? On a planet with no atmosphere. That's enough, stalker. Lower your weapon. We don't shoot guests over a misunderstanding. Sir, please return to your table. It's bad practice to leave our establishment without paying your bill first. If you need some fresh air, pay up, go outside, and come back in and start a new check when you're ready. I'm sorry, but I didn't think it would be a problem. You were wrong. Dead wrong. That's enough. I think the gentleman understands. Now let's all go back inside, shall we? And Stalker, you and I are going to talk about this later. I can't wait. Oh, I'm still feeling the effects of that blast. I'm in charge of security oh, here, so I'm the last person you want to piss off. Excuse me. I was hoping they'd curtail their aggression when it came to our staff, but perhaps not. If it happens again, tell them that on my authority, the required... Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. If you're sure. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Show of strength is required. I'll that. I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. Yeah, well, things place. changed. Maybe I'll Take a seat. Well, well. Isn't little so you're working with Autumn, Autumn, huh? I hope you'll forgive me if I don't stand up and salute. I'm just not all that impressed by you, your lads, lasses, and all. Come on, sit. Who are you? Oh, and you can drop that whole intimidation thing you're trying. Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. 
Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Oh. You mean consequences like how you and your bloody weekend warriors are driving all the business out of Red Mile? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation. And he started moving in on my territory. Too much chances with the pirates. Well, it's not up to you, is it? Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. She's the owner and manager here. Inherited the place when her husband was killed. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. Someone who volunteers to run the Red Mile. A deadly stretch of terrain just outside the cantina. It's infested with hostile creatures and few people survive. The ones that do earn a reputation. The Red Mile is incredibly dangerous. I just don't want to see you take a risk like that. All right, it's your call to make. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die, will you? You're really going to take on the mile, huh? I hope you're enjoying your visit. May runs a tidy establishment. Let's keep it simple. For the next run, it's gonna be one. Trust with this pirate crew. Good dog, that kid can't with patrons. Paying us to keep rogue spicers. <laughs> Crew 
we're gonna need to negotiate new terms for that. And I'll give you a little hint. Ah, a new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking respite from the burdens of life? My name is May. And I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Never heard of it. Never heard of it? I won't even ask how that's possible. <laughs> you're in for a treat, then. The Red Mile is the settled system's most exciting sporting event. Brave contestants from all corners of the galaxy come here to try their luck in a deadly race to the finish. Those that survive are celebrated as champions. Those that don't are quickly forgotten. <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. Well, it's quite simple, really. Once you register with me, we'll have a little pomp and circumstance before sending you on your way out the big red door. Then it's a race to the buzzer at the other end of the course. You'll deal with obstacles and deadly creatures alike, while people up here place bets on how far you'll get. Make it back alive, and you'll stand to win riches and the admiration of your fans. I'm sure you can figure out what happens if you fail. Just a little introduction we do to get the fans all worked up. The Red Mile is a spectator sport, after all. Most people don't complete the course, so this is a way to give those unfortunate souls a proper send-off while they can still appreciate it. <laughs> You're too precious! Yes, of course they bet on our runners' lives. We're outside of the colonies and free stars for a reason. Betting is a huge part of the Red Mile's appeal. How better to make the most exciting sport in the universe more exciting? Repeat runners draw bigger bets. You should ask Donovan how much bets on him were worth before he was forced to retire. Of course. And if you're thinking of running, just let me know. I'll be glad to sign you up. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Yes, this is not unknown to me. His association with the first is troubling, to say the least, and that trouble could find its way here. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Oh, I'm afraid this is the only thing that I want from you. At least for now. A simple journey through a wilderness occupied by creatures that some call dangerous. I give you my word, which is something I never do like. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. I'm afraid not. But I'm sure your confidence will inspire our patrons to place substantial wagers on your survival. what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Please do. I'm prepared runners tend not to last very long on the mile. Very well. Follow me. Howdy. Kick back with a drink from the bar and enjoy yourself. Your attention. 
patient please. Value patrons and honor guests. For one brave soul, the hour of faith. to test the Red Mile! Now is your chance to get a good look at our fearless challenger.
Okay. Hello. Looking to join a crew. Any openings? Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. I'm not easily impressed. But you've managed to surprise me. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. You mean consequences? You'll be talking to the other side of my boot if you keep trying to strip my mother's business out of Red Mark. It's a pleasure to have you. You're back. Are you okay? You'd rather go back to the days when this place. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated or you're just that good. Anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. Get the hell out of my face. No, it's not that... I had a... a bad experience with another deputy that I was training. I'll tell you all about it after this is over. Okay? So, you need to stay alive, or you'll never hear the story. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the Rock and let the Marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. You must be tougher than you look. Here to bask in my glory, eh? Yes? Time for me to keep my promise, runner? You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. He's intelligent, well-connected, and utterly ruthless. He's also a man of taste who appreciates the finer things. You'll find out soon enough what I mean. Good. Travel safely, runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here, waiting for you.
nice work. Landing gear is ready. Sight is clear. Music is gonna put me to sleep. Welcome. May's message didn't exactly make it clear why you wanted to meet with me. If you're looking for work, my organization is always in need of pilots and security personnel willing to take risks. Ah, I see. You did well to find me. I'm not an easy man to locate. Though I suppose we haven't exactly been keeping a low profile lately. Given the nature of the contract, a degree of exposure was always a risk, but a calculated one. To be honest, I think the Major is all but spoiling for a confrontation with the Rangers. Still, I confess, I'm a little disappointed that the Marshal sent the Deputy instead of a full-fledged Ranger. That's right. Major Hall spent 20 years in lockup nursing a grudge against the Free Star Collective. We all did. A lot of good men and women died for nothing because of those cowards you work for. You've chosen your side, I've not chosen mine. <laughs> I'm not sure you are grasping the situation here, Deputy. You were on my ship, outnumbered by my guards, who killed you without hesitation. I'm a businessman. If you expect me to cooperate, I'm going to want something in return. I won't tell you everything. I do still have some loyalty to my unit. However, I can point you in the right direction. In exchange, I want the Rangers to let me operate with a free hand. I have a better idea. Instead, I tell you something you don't want to know, but you should. The Council of Governors is a group of greedy and corrupt liars who are using you and the other Rangers to protect their own interests. Do you really think they give a damn about the people of the Free Star Collective? Whatever road brought you here, your journey ends today.